Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a chatty nighttime skincare routine video talking about one of my most commonly asked questions, which is how I chose UC Berkeley over UCLA. I know many of you are going through the same situation I was in a few years ago, so I wanted to share some of my insights and reasonings why I chose to be a golden bear, not a Bruin, and some of the insights my friends from UC Berkeley have shared with me as well. If you don't already know, my name is Angelica. I like to make videos about college, lifestyle, beauty, health, anything else in between, and if that sounds interesting, interesting to you, make sure to click that subscribe button, follow me on my social media, and be a part of the community, and let's get straight into the video. So the first thing I like to use is cleanser, one, to take off my makeup, and two, just to cleanse my face, which is called double cleansing. I like to use an oil or solid-based cleanser to really get all my makeup off, and these are two of my favorites. I really like the Pond Cold Cream Cleanser to remove makeup. This is a great solid remover and it melts your makeup off really seamlessly and this is really affordable. And I also like to use Innisfree's Apple Seed Oil Cleanser and this one looks like this. And it is a Korean K-Beauty brand but they do sell it in the States now. And this is really nice, refreshing, keeps your skin hydrated. And then after taking off my makeup, which I've already done, I like to go in with a second cleanser that's water-based or gel-based to get the remaining gunk off my face. I've been using Dermalogica's Clear Start Cleanser and this one is really great for people with normal to acne prone skin. And I'm someone with normal skin that has hormonal breakouts, so this is a great gentle effective cleanser I like to use to make sure I'm all in check. The first reason why I chose UC Berkeley over UCLA is that the culture and I grew up in Southern California all my life, Orange County girl and I have a thick valley girl accent, I say like and oh my goodness. I wanted a change, I wanted to get out, I wanted to explore and experience new things, new cultures, new food, new national parks, new sites, new environments. California is so different throughout and I love NorCal when I visited as a child, whether that's the national parks or San Francisco, so I was all up for that change of environment and just change in scenery in general. And the second step in my skincare after I cleanse is I like to tone. So I've been using this toner for quite a time now and this is the Thayer's Witch Hazel Alcohol Free Cucumber one. And I like to just get a cotton round and put it on my face. I know cotton rounds are not eco-friendly, so I just ordered some disposable ones so I can use again and again. But this one is really gentle because it's also alcohol free, so I just like to take off any of the remaining stuff I have on my face. And it looks like I don't have much today because I double cleansed. And the second reason why I chose UC Berkeley is that the academics here are really unrivaled. I know that UC Berkeley is, I think, number two public best university now, not number one, and UCLA has number one, although UC Berkeley has had that number one title for the last hundred years or something. UC Berkeley's individual department rankings and their program strengths is just really strong. I think we are a top four program in everything, chemistry, bio, business, econ, and we're either number one, number two, number three, number four, so that is something that's so awesome and a privilege to be studying with people of this faculty that are so talented, industry experts, worked with politicians, presidents, huge companies, and not to say UCLA doesn't have an amazing faculty, I just think UC Berkeley's faculty is one of the top notch best in the world and I knew that I could never have this kind of experience again. We also have the second most number of Nobel laureates here right after Harvard, so we have just time after time, a lot of cool things happening, innovations, inventions, publications. And at the time, I was interested in being a business undergrad major, and at UCLA, they do not have a business undergrad major, they have biz econ, so I thought it'd be only fitting to come here. And UC Berkeley has the number one econ program in the country. In case I didn't get into the business school at Berkeley, I could have always done econ. The third thing I like to use is some sort of facial oil. I've been using facial oil since in high school when I had pretty acne and oily prone skin. I know it's counterintuitive to use facial oils because they're like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna make my skin more oilier. But I promise you, hydrating your skin, nourishing your skin allows your body to produce less oil. So we're hydrating it so it doesn't think it's lacking oil, so it produces more oils. So these are two of my favorite 
facial oils I've been using for a very long time. The one by Kiehl's is really good. This is their Midnight Recovery Concentrate. And this bottle is a little bit more expensive. This is, I believe, $125. But you only use two to three drops every time. And this huge bottle can last you one and a half years to two years. And it just helped my skin with so much acne scarring, light spots, sunspots, acne, inconsistencies in my texture. So I really credit this for clearing my skin in the last five years. And a cheaper alternative, but also a really great product is this oil I bought in Europe when I was in France. I cannot pronounce this correctly, so I'm going to try. New Huli Prodigiuses. New Huli Prodigiuses. Real Prodigious Nux. This is around $40 USD on Amazon. I bought it a little cheaper in Europe for 20 euros, but this one is really good for face, body, and hair. It's a dry oil with really pure ingredients. So I'm gonna be using this one today, and I'm just gonna be spritzing it onto my hand, and then I'm gonna rub it between my hands and press it into my skin, moisturized after my toner, and it smells super luxurious and expensive. And I like to put it on my neck. How many of you guys are worried about neck wrinkles? I feel like I have neck wrinkles. To go alongside the history of academics is the history of so much history. We are the first UC school, so we have been here for quite some time and we are a place of free speech movement. Our 14 or 16 elements on the periodic table were founded here. CRISPR, um, which is a genetic engineering technology that is top market right now, was discovered here by Jennifer Duna. So past, present, future, we're cool things both academically and socially, and we're a place that's really been known for pushing boundaries of social norms and challenging status quo so that's something super cool to be a part of and even observe if you don't want to be actively involved in it with like the protest culture and speaking your truth and yeah just fighting for what you believe in is really interesting and very empowering as a young adult so I really love that and that's one of the things that drew me to this campus so the next step in my skincare routine is I like to use a moisturizer I know what you're thinking Angelica you just used a facial oil but in order to set the facial oil and prevent it from, uh, you know, if you don't like that oil, oil not oily, but a little oil-ish finish, so it doesn't like rub on your clothes or your pillows, locking it in with the moisturizer is a great way to set it and really lock in that moisture and hydration. So I have two favorite moisturizers I use both day and night. I like the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream Moisturizer, which I completely ran out of, so I can't talk about that or show you guys that. But I do have this moisturizer from Makeup. This is a Makeup Raw Moisturizer, and this is a Korean beauty skincare brand that a lot of people don't actually know about, but it is really good. You only need a little. And I'm all about little goes a long way because I want to save money. And especially because we just put oil on our face, it's really nice using a moisturizer because you can use less oil and less moisturizer because you're combining both. So I'm just gonna dot this on my face and this spreads so so easily so I'm just you know pat, pat, pat. press 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 Cardi don't need no press the, re the fourth reason why I chose UC Berkeley was that the Bay Area has a much much better public transportation system they have the BART system which is a subway system and also the AC transit and the Mooney buses which is the buses in San Francisco and Berkeley and in SoCal where I grew up and lived and where UCLA is you really do need a car to get anywhere even if it's a five minute car way you need to get a car or an Uber or something but in the Bay Area yeah, you don't need that because so many people are commuting and working so I really like that I didn't need to bring my car up and if I wanted to hop in from Berkeley campus go into the city of San Francisco I just get on a BART and it's just like a one-way let's go or if I want to go to Oakland and hang out with my friends that's the same thing in UCLA it's a little bit off place it's in Westwood which is a area near the Bel Air which is a really nice area so it's really secluded and in order to get to like downtown LA or West Hollywood you can't just walk there or take a bus you do have to either uber there or you know drive there so it was really convenient and important to me that I can live my life without a car and parking and parking tickets and stuff like that so that was a huge plus having transportation much better than 
LA. <laughs> The last thing I like to do in my skincare routine is treat. So I will use some kind of spot treatment, whether that's for acne, scars, texture, and use that as my last step. Right now I have a few breakouts that are on its very last stage, so I'm just gonna treat that. I'm gonna be using Dermalogica Clear Start Breakout Clearing Boosting Gel. I really like this because, I really like this one because it doesn't smell weird and doesn't leave my skin super irritated and it's really nice and gentle yet effective. So I really recommend the Clear Start products. And other times I will also put like lightning or dark fade spots if I have any acne scars that week. And my last and final reasons why I chose UC Berkeley was that like going off of the culture and history, it really attracts such a diverse pool of people, socioeconomic class, or racially, also experiences, walks of life, gender identity, sexual identity, religious beliefs. So there was so much variety here and it's such a place that embraces individuality, being yourself, owning yourself, being comfortable with who you are and accepting everyone. And we are a pioneer of that movement across all college campuses. And so I knew that this experience was really unique unique to UC Berkeley and I love that you know I think we're one of the schools with the most number of Pell Grant students which is people who get a financial aid from California and I'm so proud to be in a place where we really embrace as many people as possible and we're always trying to better improve to make this place as inclusive as possible obviously we always have more things and better things to do but at Berkeley it's definitely a part of the culture here and that's something I'm really proud about UCLA is a much safer area to be a student. It's closed off in Westwood. It's in a really nice expensive area, much more protected and sheltered. So in Berkeley, it's much more dangerous in terms of homeless population. It's dirty. It's not super safe. So that's something to take account of as well. Although UC Berkeley has some great connections with tech, Silicon Valley, if you're not interested in that and you're interested in Hollywood, media, um, new digital, this is not really the place to be. But UCLA has movie stars come on campus, and TV shows film on campus, they have premieres on campus, they do really cool interview and Hollywood events on campus. So that's something I'm super jealous of sometimes and that's so unique to UCLA and that's really cool as well. So if that's really important to you, that can be a cool experience that you can consider going to UCLA for. And the last thing I think UCLA really knocks it out of the park is their dorm resident hall food. Their dining hall food is so freaking good. UCLA food is so freaking good. UCLA is top notch for dining hall food. I hope that this video was informative with my skincare routine and also encourages you all to find a skincare routine that works for you as a high school or college student. I'm going to be linking everything down below and I also hope that this helped you come to a decision a little bit better about if you want to go to UCLA or UC Berkeley. Let me know in the comments below what you're leaning towards, what school you're leaning towards. Are you going to be a bear? Are you going to be a Bruin? Or if you're not going to go to UCLA or UC Berkeley, where you plan to go in the fall. If you like this video, give this video a huge thumbs up, comment, like, subscribe, follow me on my social medias, and let's stay connected. And I will see you all in the next one.